Today I'm going to do a bit of a different video since Renato Simeone hasn't released the dev update yet. I will be talking about the free tracks which basically I will never hate and they mean the most to me in general. And these free tracks might sound a bit random for you but I will be jumping into each one of them in chronological order, I will explain that later too, and tell you why they mean so much to me in the terms of motorsports and everything in general. So let's head to Japan to talk about the first track on my list, which made me love motorsports as a whole. Okay, so the first track on my list, as you see now, is Kansai, which is also known as Suzuka officially in everywhere and why this one so special is because as I said this track made me fall in love with sim racing sort of motorsports in general because beforehand and still now I love football as in soccer for you Americans but when I went travel to a country which had a lot of, uh, what you want to say, call it, restrictions on the internet, let's say. And that, that uh, made it so I couldn't do everything I wanted in that country. So all I had to do was just watch videos I had downloaded, but that made me quite bored, as you can understand. I was... 13 at the time. No, I was 12 actually. So what I did was try to find games which I liked. And I didn't have any downloaded onto my iPhone at the time. So then I looked and then I found a game called Real Racing Free. And I looked at it and I could play only the first level of that game over and over again. And you may ask, what was it? Well, it was that this last sector of Suzuki, if I recall correctly, in like a Corvette or something. And I did that for like two, three weeks. Just drove there over and over and over again. A bit better than I'm doing now. But I drove around it. And that may be interested in motorsports. Then I told my parents, oh, I want to become a racing driver, motorsports, I want to watch motorsports. Can I watch it? Car racing. And then my dad said, oh, there's some, this little thing called Formula One, which I think you would be interested in. So then I looked at it, and ever since then, I've been hooked. And obviously, as you might notice, I'm driving a Mercedes. And that's because when I started getting interested, I asked who my father supported. And he said, oh, I like Mercedes this guy called Lewis Hamilton. So as you can notice, I'm having the Mercedes shirt on for winner and also Hamilton won his 104th Grand Prix last weekend at Silverstone. But I think that's enough explaining for how the story started, per se you can say. And Let's talk about more how I where how I got more involved than when I got to watch my first race at the certain Italian track. Welcome to Monza, which isn't the first track I actually got to see the race at real life in at live, but it was the first track which I actually saw a Grand Prix on on the TV. So it was 2017 which was the year I started watching. It was summer, I think. I don't fully remember. All I can remember is that when I started to watch, I noticed, oh, I can't watch any practice sessions, but I don't pay for via play, which is very expensive. Like for your Americans, like $40 now, $50 a month, something like that. But then they have this public channel, which I had in my in my TV subscription or TV I don't know what's it called in English 
so I could have that one of their free channels and there they always sent the qualifying for free and that was quite interesting because I could watch it but then I remember then I I don't remember how but I learned that oh they're sending the 2017 Italian Grand Prix around Monza live for free for everyone so then I watched and it was really interesting because I obviously got to see everything which happened. I remember qualifying. They had Lance Stroll who qualified on the second right behind Hamilton. I was like the first driver, can youngest Canadian driver to ever do so. And then like he was one of the youngest drivers except for Stappen who ever did so. So it was quite a big event. And then the race, I think Hamilton won, I'm not so sure. But then you also have the Julian Palmer moment and where also Fernando Alonso said karma. And what I remember is that a few races ago, as of recording this, Julian Palmer said that a lot of drivers always have a lead get, and Alonso always gets annoyed with every driver and always likes to comment about them. And then someone they asked, oh, did they ever do so with you? Then Julian Palmer said, no, I don't think I've had any incidents with Alonso. And then I all, always will remember that they actually had that little slight incident with him. Which was very funny. So then every year, obviously when Monza comes around, I remember that they watched that race. And it was really fun to learn about F1 and everything. And ever since then, I've always wanted to go to an F1 race. But, sadly, I couldn't for a long time because my parents were like, oh, it's very expensive. There is none close to Swaz. Sweden only had had one in the 70s. I was not even born. So then I waited and waited. 2017 went by, 2018 went by, 2019 went by. And 2020, obviously, COVID went by. 2021 went by. But in 2022, I went to a certain country and I did finally get to watch my A Grand Prix. You might wonder, what country was it? Well, I'm going to give you a little clue. You can play it in AMS2. And the car, driver, the car I'm driving around in just won that race this year. Welcome to Silverstone. And now, starts the story of my first Grand Prix weekend. So, I took the bus from a certain English town. I won't be telling you which one. But I took it from there and then I went with a my mum the first day. And there it was very fun because I got to experience Formula 3 cars for like two meters away because I walked by I think it was Yeah it was the last corner of the Maggots and Beckett. I don't remember if it, what's it called? Cops? No, Stowe? Something like that. So, it was very fun to see them from up close. Since obviously, it's not, it's not, you can't feel that when driving in real life. So you can see like, maybe not maybe two meters was quite the exaggeration but it was like this close and there I could see it from the walls so then it was really fun I walked the whole lap around the track which was very fun because it was something I had never really experienced before but then when we had done everything we sat right here the grandstands I watched how a Bugatti or something broke down then on the second day I 
went with my dad. And then it was quite rainy. I remember that. We sat. I will show you obviously on the track. But we sat there and just watched how all of the cars went by. And then we also got to hear a V10 in real life. Which was very fun. Because they were a lot louder than the modern F1 cars. Which was quite the surprise. So we sat roughly there on my left now. And that was also very fun. We got to see... I think it was... I think Color Science got the pole position. I'm not so sure. I only remember... Nicholas Latifi Gotifi getting into getting into Q3 for his first and only time in F1 that was quite a special moment but then obviously comes the race where I went with my uncle who's not a very big F1 fan, but he had Ferrari pants on, so I count him as an F1 fan. And then he, we sat right here, and we got to see quite a few incidents in the support races and even in F1. We got to see Hamilton dive bomb a few people, then, a, then the red flag, because Joe Guan Yu had a humongous incident with Russell. We also had uh, Sergio Perez dive bombing Hamilton, which I thought was a bit of an illegal move, but uh, we should not think about uh, old moves like that, especially at Silverstone incident. And I also got to see, I think it was Yuki Tsunoda and Ricciardo. No, Tsunoda and Gasly it was. They had an incident where they hit each other. I think it was Yuki who dive bombed. Dive bombed uh, uh, Gatsley. So that was interesting. We also got to see, obviously, Color Sign's first win. And that was about it, except that there was a lot of traffic when we came back. And that was it for today's video on the three tracks which I will always have close to my heart. But what do you think? Comment it down below. And whilst you're down there, please hit the like button and also subscribe. My next video hopefully is on the dev update. You never know with Mr. Renato. So we'll have to see. Otherwise, it will be another video which I will have to think about to just do. But until then. I've been Racing Legend, you've been my amazing face. Thank you for watching. Goodbye! <laughs>